Now let's go into hallelujah. Yay! Hallelujah. That's the Greek word. And then we can see that it's from 1984 <laughs> and from 3050. Okay, so now we have the Strong's Hallelujah. And we're going to go into its breakdown. So we can see that here in the Greek now, it's telling you it's from the Hebrew origin, right? Right. So we can connect it to Hebrew. So there it is right there. Halal, Yah. Right. Okay, now, interesting, right? So we've been worshiping, but we have we known what we've been worshiping? Yes, um, it's a good thing. It's well, we a, just haven't known exactly what we've been we saying. We haven't known what we've been saying. So now we're going to go into a verse here. We're because go, we've been told that it means this. Praise Yah. Yeah. Right. But we're trying to shed light on this. Yes, we are. Pun, in, pun intended. Well, yes and no, because it just is. But yes, to the frequency of, of truth. So we're going to go into try to extrapolate out now in this verse of Psalm 150, verse 1. So let's go in here. And please, um, you see things, please render them clear because we need the full eyes on this to make sure that, again, we can only put so much on a page. And yes, absolutely, there's people out there, there's scholarly people that see we can't possibly connect it all because, again, it goes so broad that we would spend hours and hours and hours, more than the hours that we spend trying to bring clarity. So this is only skimming stones. You know, sometimes it goes down a little deeper than other times, but it comes back up to the surface and so we can continue along. So we're just trying to assist in, in our part. So there's 1984, the first word in Psalms 151. This is be David saying praise. So there's its root, shine, halal. This has a vav on the suffix. So this is the revelation of the twin lights that you are to connect to. Right. This pierces you. The this... two teaching shepherds that are the pattern of the Ark of the Covenant. Right. That you're connected to in meekness. Yep. Or which is connecting in, to. And Father. there's many ways to extrapolate this out in the Father's lenses through the Spirit revelation is like even the revelation of mother or behold the breath of the light of mother that she will teach you and go and point in the direction of the light of father this will pierce you and connect you to the sovereign stance of meekness as authority yeah absolutely okay so there's another way to look at that just yeah. a little little broader okay so we also see that's to be clear right and to shine and it roots down a little further to shine to be bowlful to praise right yep. didn't put one in there for yah don't really need to it's self-explanatory it's just yod hey with a dimensional Pesach. yod hey, right? The power of the work of Mother's revelation, right? That This well, is Mother. It's, it's a strong Degesh, so hey, like hey. technically there's two Hays there. Right. So, so, this is Haya. Haya. To be, to become, to come to pass, because the two Hays have become one. Right. So it was the power of the revelations to become one revelation. And so that, would probably be why the because I didn't write this, I don't know why they put the Pesach there, other than the twin revelations is one measure. It's a completed measure of ascension that that it's actually the double breath, right? Well and and technically with the lesser variation, the reason why they put the Pesach in there is because the word Yod Hey, they didn't want to combine the hay with this hay. Right. So they had to stop it. But yet we know that that means so much more. Right. Um, in in the etheric side, in the esoteric side, because this is the dimensional, and this has to do with the wife, right? The bride versus the wife, right? Right, right. This is a completed. This is this is a completed. Well, um, and and this would be to become or come to pass. This, this is one who has come to pass. This is a completed entity that is that when you see these letters, they resonate to a frequency. So yep. you have the revelation of, of mother and father on both sides with the stand of light in between you and you're pierced through connecting you heaven on earth, which is actually within you. There's nothing that's really coming down. What you're doing is you are being yes and no. I should be careful. Again, there's a dimensional concept here that it's coming from within as without because above is within as it is also without, right? Mm -hmm. And so really the depth of the above is within you. Right. And this is what's being revealed. And uh, because of that, it will most likely pull down an interdimensional construct that will then present itself as a, as a, in a reality. And so it goes pretty, pretty steep and pretty deep. But so we have Haya or Halu. So it starts out Halu. 
Yah. And goes to Yah. And then it says Halu, Halu again. L. L. Right? And that's God. So we have L. So now one light. So you can look at this minute. So even if you went to the top again, just to, for, for continuity. Halu, Yah, Halu, L. Right? So now. Right. So if we just look at that, so we can go, really, the revelation of the twin lights that connect through the revelation of the twin revelations is, again, going through, and right. saying it again, Hello. is God, right. one light. Right, which would be one lament. One lament. One light. Right. And it's shine. Not so in other words, shine one light. Shines as one light. God. God. So it's really defining what God's face is. Is like strong leader. God shines as one light because Teacher. He's married through the revelation. It's just really it's condensed what's above. It's saying this right. is God. Right, right. Haluel. Hal yeah. Halu. Hal Halu. Halu. Haluel. Haluel. Yeah. So that would be L connected to L. Okay, so let's look at this. In his sanctuary, there's no in his. Just says it's holy. It's holy. This is God holy. But it's building holiness. You built holy or you're building. Building it. holiness. Right. And filling up in your meekness, connecting to Father. Right. Because the bet on the prefix is added. That's why yeah. over on the side of these, like, so just so I can explain what I do for the assistance, this is a mechanical version of the of the verse. The black letter in his sanctuary is actually what it says. I added the red and all the definitions in this for assistance. Everything of color I've added. Right. So this is the mechanical translation. There's the mechanical translation. And then I've gone, okay, so now we can see there's been a morphology from the, the Bet Kuf Dalit Sheen Vav, and, but because it, its original word, right, comes from this. And then we always like to do our best to take it to a root definition. If I can, I'll chase it down a few times to try to express the root. But so that's kind of what we're doing just so people can follow. So we know that there's a bet added on the prefix and a vav. So this is God is built in, you can say it two ways, God built, holy, or you build God from the set apart place of holiness. This is a sacred thing to build. Right. Well, it's a sacred thing to build love. Right. Through the 222. Yeah, this is not, you don't mix this. So so in other words, this is telling us how to be holy. Because yeah. be holy as I'm holy. Be holy as I'm holy. So build love. Build love. That is holy. That sets you apart. Exactly. This People say, I want to be set apart as he is set apart. Well, this is how you do it. You right build here. it through love. You do it right here. Right. You build it. So, through the so but bed also means inside. Every so this is building inside, holiness on the inside. Okay. So... Everything that we're going to be talking about, even though there's an outward reality, everything that I'm talking about is about the inward manifestation. Everything to me, and this is really important because we lose sight of it as we go out verses and we're looking at the page, we're looking at the page. But we have to remember we look as the page in the same breath. This is the difficulty of transaction. Um, because in transmutation, if we lose sight and we just simply look at it, we're losing the power as it. And so we can realize everything is as is within, as it was in without from above, because above is within you as below is within you. And so absolutely, the sanctuary is within you. Everything has been built. There is no need for any adornment on the outside. Everything is the inward revelation that produces an outward manifestation of light. So, so in this, we see Bet Kuf Dalit Sheen Vav. You want to break that down? So building on the inside through the 222, building the covenant of love, where we compress light within the circle of time, that which was once dark is was hidden is now revealed. By going through the door of the inner man into the heart where it will be revealed to you your weakness so that you can find the revelation needed to use the consuming fire to deal with your lesser self nature and then be connected to in meekness and filled up in your connection with the father. There you go. That's a spirit. That is holiness. That's, that's a holy vessel, right? There. That's a holy built one yep. okay. because the bet's in front because yep. you're building on the inside, which then manifests outwardly. Yeah. So you can't start, change doesn't happen just from the, from the outside. 
change will only happen if it starts on the inside. You can listen from the outside at as uh, from at it. You can right, listen right, right, like right. Shema, right? So because we, that helps change right. your, the way you think on right. the inside. Right. So that's the at. We can look at it. We can see it from the outward <clears throat> position. But then after it resonates and after we do meditation on it and we realize really what's transacting, that we become as it. And that's really what's happening within. So that is truly a converted life. That is. So now let's just, so now some more definitions, rooting it down because everything's connected through the Kadesh, right? right? 6942. So we go down. I've changed the colors to see separation, but it's still saying the same thing. Right. It's just, it's a cup of water. Instead of looking at it half filled, I want to be able to fill it up so people can see like, okay, so they're set apart. This tied to really being consecrated, which means to be pronounced, to make, to observe, clean, ceremonially, or morally. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that's deep. That's yes, some, it is. That's that's some good stuff there. So again, it's telling you you need to compress light within you by going to the door of the inner man, where the fire will consume your yep. lower beast nature. Yep. That's what makes you holy. And now we have 1984. Now we have praise again, and we're back to hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Cindy Luhu. But <clears throat> so. Oh, you know what's so amazing about this? Oh my gosh. I've said this repeatedly, we've said it many times, that whenever a yod is put in place, a vav is meant to connect. Right. So, haya many times is written as yod, hey, yod. So the revelations of haya become the visions in order for you to connect to them. And this right here means you've connected to that. Right. You have now connected to those to those seed visions of power that mother and father gave you, which then makes you hallelujah. And there's a diamond. This is speaks of quadration. Yep. This is a gift from God yep. and connected to the 144,000 who are the quadrated ones, the wholehearted ones. Yep. So that's a, and that they are going to shine. Yep. That's, I mean, there's a lot in these words that you would never see from no. the English or the Greek unless You'll you never. go into the Hebrew, the Aramic, that you're going to see that. Because look at the morphology on this, right? I know. And so we can add, now it's like, wow, there's frequency attached to this that we're missing through oh, the yeah. revelation of extraction. Yeah. And so, so anyway, so yeah, so there's, there's praise him. Praise this one that has accomplished this. This is a courageous act to become this. This has been done with much pain and long suffering. This has been your wrestle, Jacob, to be called Israel. This, right. is, this is a prevailing one. And now we go into the firmament. Oh, I just lost my place. Wow. Bar on front. Rendered clear. Rendered clear. Pure, innocent. Yep. yep. Selected. Yep. So now, yeah. And wow. so this is like where the wood. And again, been... they've built. They built love. Right. Tov. So you can see that, yeah. So. It ties right to Genesis one <laughs> sheet. So this is rendered clear now. You have rendered this is why you shine, because even shaman is a Hebrew word. Right. It means to shine. It means yeah. the glistening fat or a shiny one. Is the sh shem right. sheen mem right. of the name of the name while they're in the flesh. Absolutely. Noon. Right. Right. Exactly. And this will be a teacher. Uh, that's why they're a shaman, because right. they're releasing essences of light based on their flesh journey. Uh, and their experience of love. They're, that's yeah. what they are. And so this is, and then we can see that this roots down at, this is where they're beating out the gold. And before you go there, just, just something that I noticed. You have Resh Ein, and on the inside of Resh Ein, because Resh Ein means shepherd, companion, friend, mm -hmm. is the Kuf Yod. So you've compressed, Press. you're compressing light, which is the power. Right on the inside yes. that makes you to be able to be a shepherd companion and friend yes. as one who has built and gone through the process. Absolutely. Yeah. Lot that, of, that is bar. Cause that's also an heir to the throne. Yes. A son and a daughter and an heir. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. In the words, well, there's power, power in the words and because it transacts <laughs> into, um, into light. And so, at, yeah, you built the headstone. This is the headstone. You've, gone to the you've gone to the expanse and even in its own word it says this is the expanse that rash is in there that this is now rendered light you've gone built the headstone to the top of the light pyramid or your own temple yeah. your vessel your body yeah and because through the compression and the circle of time light and dark we mm -hmm. already talked about that mm -hmm. you are now compressed as both the power means and directions to see as 
all knowing. This is right. one, right? Yep. And so, they have the fountain. So this is expanse. Exactly. And that's why we sent out what we sent out before about expanse and the law of contraction are the same words. It's really the Merkaba language of propulsion really pushes out and then a certain point of law comes back in and falls into itself. And through contraction is the power generation that produces the thrust for expansion. Right. So you're basically toroidal field generator. This is what this is. Zero point. Right. The expanse is zero point. Expanse and contraction that actually makes the Merkaba. We're, we're limited in our English vernacular, in our English construct of words that we call words, but really there's a really limited value in them other than we can at least move in a progression from, from lesser to greater. So in that, we can see the analogy um, to expand. And really, they've used it as a metaphoric language um, that they've used it to hammer out. And this is where they would have been building the arc and they would have used the metal and they would have taken a sum measure and they would have hammered it out to spread it, to stretch it. And this, sure. is, what, and this is what we're going through. This now is, we're being stretched. This is how we get our proverbial wings. Right. We don't, we're not getting wings other than the essence of the Merkaba. Right. right. That's, that's what right. it's going to be. So, but this is how we stretch is by the hammering out of mother in the earth. We are being stretched. Yeah, exactly. And that the whole purpose of that is to raise up, raise us up. Right. Because we're the poor and the destitute without having light come to us. Light is information. So if you're still in the dark, you're poor and destitute. Right. So now we have the next word of Uz. Yeah. You can see where they get the Wizard of Oz. Because behind the curtain, <laughs> right? And Uzo. Right. Yeah. That's a spirit. Um, <laughs> but... Um, prevailed i love that right now i highlighted this for a reason because where we're going on this and again i mean no harm i'm not trying to like because i know certain words take on a certain uh, um uh, well, personification because the, the indoctrination and the programming and the dogma of right. things that we have heard so, so. we're going to move into we're, so we're going to move into azazel because it's right here it's already setting us up because now we're talking about lucifer right. we're talking about light we're talking right. about who is god and i'm not saying that 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 wickedness sits on the throne. I'm saying light sits on the throne. If we're able to see from a higher perspective, we're able to partner with that in its innocence and purity. Well, this, That's how you ascend Mother's Mount. Right. This takes it back to what you were talking about in quite a few teachings ago, though, about Maroshit. Right. Roshit, the principalities and powers. Right. That we're flipping them. We're flipping the nature. And so everything that has been perverted yeah. is now going to be reestablished in the restoration of all things. Right. And again, by the... If, and that's and we're shedding light on this in order to do that. Yeah. And if, if you are where you are, then then that's great. And and again, I just I pray that we're all able to, to progress through this. But you are where you are, and that's exactly where you need to be. Until the greater is shown to you, that's exactly... That's a great spot for everyone to be is where you are. So <laughs> embrace that. As long as we're parting with new information every day, then tomorrow we can be a greater version of ourselves. Right.